There's nothing worse than working really hard to create a great offline reputation to then translate that into an online platform and for the things to not match up for those two different things to actually create a mismatch. So if you've ever had someone go, oh, you're really different in person than what you are online, or I didn't expect you to be like this, then this blog is going to be perfect. when I started growing and marketing myself online. I was really scared. I thought that I had to be a particular kind of way in order to be taken seriously. So I was pretty brand new to business. I'd just come out of corporate and you know, my corporate reputation was excellent. I knew that I, I knew what I could do. People knew that if they heard me, they knew how I performed. And you know, it's really kind of different to then starting out in your whole brand new business on your own and trying to market yourself on a whole brand new platform. Now, a really big part for me was that I really wanted to establish some credibility. I really wanted to be able to have people go, oh yeah, you know, I, I've seen you online and I get you and things like that. But <laughs> I thought that in order to be taken seriously in my business, I thought that I had to actually be very, very serious. And so the videos that I created were very much like, hi, my name is Nicola. Thank you so much for tuning into the blog this week. And I barely moved, right? I, my, my hands didn't move. I was so cardboard cut out and thought that I had to have everything perfectly scripted. I thought that I had to have everything perfectly down. My hair was so hairsprayed. There was no movement in it. It was, it was freaking hilarious. If you want to laugh, go to YouTube, go and have a look at some of the early videos that I've got on there. They are hilarious. Please have a laugh at my expense. Now, one of the big reasons for that is I thought that in order to be taken seriously, online and offline, I needed to actually be very serious. Now, if you don't know anything about me just yet, now I'm really great at teaching marketing and I'm really great at doing my own stuff and you know getting all of this kind of stuff out there, producing content, getting in people's head and things like that. But there is also a very other big side of me that really loves to have fun. And I don't like to take life too seriously. I believe that there should be a mix of play and laughter and fun and emojis and gifts. And you know, I like to really play and, and be real because that's kind of like who I am. I've got three kids. I tell really bad dad jokes that I think are freaking hilarious. And you know, I, I like to really blend those two things together. Now, one of those things that I adjusted early on, I used to speak differently. So my voice was very much like this and it was very soft and I used to get called Tinkerbell and you know, it was really kind of like, like soft and light and stuff like that. And as I've kind of grown more into myself over the years, I'm a lot more like I am now. Like I don't really give a shit if you like me or not. I don't really give a shit if you like my stuff or not. If you don't, that's great. Go find somebody else to follow. And if you do, then that's really great. And that's really awesome. You know, let's do some cool shit together. Oh, and I'm a swearer. So, you know, the really big thing that I think is important and so freaking critical when you're marketing yourself online is that you really want to be you, all right? And highlight and demonstrate those different elements of you. Now, you may not be like me. You might be quite uh, softly spoken and maybe you're a data kind of girl, maybe you're, a, maybe you're really serious or maybe you're like off the charts hilarious and a comedian. You know, whatever it is that's, that's your strength, whatever it is that has you feeling like you, no matter where it is that you are, I really want you to be showing that to people online because that's the thing that people are going to be like, oh, thank God this person is real. You know, now again, that doesn't matter whether you're really a serious corporate kind of person or whether you're a bit more laid back type of person or a health coach or you're intuitive or, you know, a lawyer. It doesn't really matter. Just highlight you. Because the thing that happens is this when people start seeing you online and then they start seeing you offline, what will happen is they will say to you, because I know it, this happens to me all the time, oh, wow, you're exactly the same online is what you are offline. You speak the same, you're passionate, you use the same words, you use the same hand gestures, and you know, you probably swear a little bit more offline than you do online. That's okay. <laughs> but the thing that we don't wanna create is a kind of mismatch or a disconnect 
when people meet you in person after seeing you online. So if you are, like, let's say that you have corporate clients and you've got a very kind of business structured uh, corporate type of website. Now, maybe you also do some life coaching. I've got a client who does a lot of corporate coaching and also does a lot of life coaching and, and that, that type of thing. So a little bit, kind of a little bit softer than the corporate stuff. So on her website, she has two different sections so that when she's doing the hardcore corporate stuff, she can really have that in there without it impacting those other people that are a little bit more gently, gently type people, right? I, I trust that this makes sense. So if that's kind of like you and, and you've got some different facets, then it's really important when you're doing your videos or when you're doing your blogs or when you're doing your social media stuff, it's important to bring some of those other elements in so that people aren't shocked when they start to see you in person, all right? That way, you know, I like now, if people go and look at my early stuff and, and they have a good old belly laugh and, and I'm all for that, laugh at my expense, please, it's excellent. Um, you know, they can really kind of see the growth and, and their level of certainty now. And you know, it's just like, I, I, don't, I don't really care. You know, this is just who I am. This is what I'm about. I have three kids. I don't have time for bullshit. If you're not gonna do the work, go find somebody else to work with, all of that kind of stuff, right? You know, I'll, I'll kick your ass, but I'll also celebrate with you and, and you know, all of that kind of thing. So I really want you showing all elements of you and you've got to do this in your blogs on your social media platform so on facebook on linkedin on instagram on when you're emailing out your your database and you're sending out the value that and and different hints and tips and advice and things like that to your database to your list of people we really need to be showing those different elements of you so that people feel like they know you before they meet you in person. Now, of course, there's boundaries there and levels of familiarity and stuff like that, but really at the end of the day, in order to not create a disconnect, you need to be wholly and solely you. So share your values, share what you stand for, share your stories, share the, the shit that you've been through, share the celebrations that you've, that you've achieved, those milestones that you've achieved, so that people also realize that, you know, this is not, you don't have to be successful just by, you know, thinking it and adding water, right? There is work, there's transformational work that needs to be done in order to get there. You don't have to share all the intricacies, you don't have to share all of the, the nitty gritty drama stuff, but you want to share as much as you can in order for you to stand out and be different to all the other carbon copy things that person people who are marketing themselves in your industry and in your niche. All right, awesome. So if you have any questions, please leave them below here. If you've got any comments, leave them below here. If you'd love a one-on-one -on -one with me chatting about how to market yourself online and grow your business online, then go ahead and you'll see a big banner underneath there. Go ahead, click that link and put your information in. I'd love to see how I can help you. Meanwhile, have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.